You know, in the last episode where Ellie said he felt two emotions because Chisei was gone, but we didn't get to hear it. And then Chisei said, I have something to tell Ellie, but we didn't get to hear it. Are we going to find out this episode? Let's find out, though. Whoa. No opening. Episodes that don't start with an opening usually mean it's like a serious episode. That outfit. Have we ever worn that before? Who is this dude narrating what a slave beggy? Is that the future? I think I know this voice actor. He's a. Uh, what's his name? The priest from Fate series. Remember, there's the Rejoice meme? I can't forget his name. But this, this voice acting is very distinct. What are all these future moments? Is that Elias' true form when he goes all... I, I, I don't know. The face looks similar. What is all this? Uh, is this guy stalking outside the window? <laughs> I, I don't know, but based on his voice acting, I'm going to assume he's super important. Opening 2 just placed because it's, we're in the second half of this season, right? But I think I like opening 1 a lot more. Oh! You know how uh, there's actual dogs that can hurt, like, it's like a herding dog, and they can, you know, guide sheep around. Ruth kind of was doing that with this tail a bit. Damn, she's just, she's just peeling it right off. Like a fruit skin. <laughs> Be gone, I'm done with you. Oh, these little sheep bugs are actually so cute, though. Oh! <laughs> the, the, his little arms, his little, his little legs. Silky. Silky, how come you don't ever talk to us? You just make sound effects. I wish Silky would talk. Maybe there'll be a moment where she actually says something. And we'll be like, what? You could always speak? Bye-bye. <laughs> they all just sit there, and <laughs> ready to get snipped. <laughs> yeah, what were we going to say? You're, you're delaying this. Never gonna bring it up at this point. Like, only because they're being more aware. They're being more self aware of their bonds. What was that? Is that a different one? A shiny one! Oh, this is what Elise was talking about. It's a shiny woolly. Right on your face. It's not dangerous, right? It's not. Unless? Oh, but it's a little cute sheep thing. No way. Is it dangerous? <laughs> no! I don't think it takes damage. It's too fluffy. What's going on? It's got like a little ice effect. And I think we're getting frost. Dude. Bro! Oh, never mind. This ice woolly thing is pretty strong. Are we actually getting beaten <laughs> by a little sheep bug? Huh? Bro, you just laid an egg in Hello? Uh... Who's the dad? Or rather, how- Huh? Did the baby- <laughs> It's attacking with the kid?! <laughs> I'm confused. They're, they're not so nice and cute after all. Elias looking so cool. What is this thing, Elias? See his hands getting all frosty too. Be gone. Oh, I listened to him. So it took Chisei's energy and then it just laid an egg by itself. So Chisei, I don't know. Is the dad? I don't know how that works. Say it right now. Come on. No, no, no. Get your. There you go. Yeah, why are you running away? Is there something on your mind? Oh. The Riz. I don't know if he's saying this. Like, like, is he calculating this? Like, oh, I know something good to say, but it's more like, hey, I felt like this while you were gone because I don't really understand how to like, y you know, you, you guys say that he's autistic. So, it's, so he's like just saying whatever comes to mind, but it actually works sometimes. It was okay. Grandpa said that you ate a human. Can you talk more about that? <laughs> Here we go, right onto that topic. Uh, so you want to eat me? Mm. Yeah, what's up? I mean, you were drooling all over her face. Oh. 
he's gonna delete her memory, right? He's gonna delete her memory! <laughs> but I don't know about that. Maybe he's objectively correct and it's better off that she doesn't know, but still, there's something that feels so wrong about this. Don't do it! Good. Oh, tactical hug instead. Man, Elias is sometimes so scary like that. And then there's other moments where he is in his little chibi mode. It's all funny and cute, but when it's like all the lighting is all dark and the shading. Oh my god. Indirectly telling him that, you know, if you delete that memory, it's important memory because you were there. Will it work on Elias though? <laughs> I do think that she is genuinely not scared. Because in the dark room when she was, like, when he was like in this unstable mode, she wasn't phased at, at all at that point either. I mean, all other humans were, so. She's different, though. She says different. No. Oh. This is a cute position. Well, dad is still around, and I wonder if little sister is. So, little brother. They both had the sight. Okay, more important information. And then what happened? Like, how did the mom get so twisted? What happened to dad? Where is he now? He left? He just straight up left? Left with the brother? Why? That's some crucial information. Why did she just leave Chisei and mom behind? And then mom just offed herself, yeah. There's gotta be a more important reason as to why dad and brother left. It's probably some really important plot stuff that maybe season 2 might address. But the fact that the main character's family members are still alive, that's a huge deal because they can show up at any point. They might be really important characters in this, I don't know, world of mages. Oh, yeah, he did. And it's like home now. Last episode, she said it really felt like she settled in. Precious, precious information. Even the information of, you know, Elias eating humans is a thing. But it's, it's okay, it's okay. We're over that. Elias, Elias. We're not lying, though. You think we're lying? But you're not lying. Mm, mm. Nice one. Aww. Oh. <laughs> watching. <laughs> they feel warm. Oh, your heart's all. It's that butterflies in your stomach and. No, but but you felt something in your gut. Remember when the fairy king said about children? It means someone you love is gone. I don't know. Depression. Sad. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what was that? What was that little tug? I see. This is what loneliness feels. He's understanding how to feel like a human. So it's, it's not... So he can't empathize in the past, but he does have these base feelings, and he needs to understand what these feelings are. I'm glad I bought you. I don't know <laughs> the way he phrases that is sometimes a bit like, mm, but uh, this is the wholesome moment between the two. <laughs> Silky's still watching from the corner. She's not even trying to hide it. Oh, They're like both teachers to each other. But yeah, I mean, these, this relationship is both of them like teaching each other more about themselves. Second want... So, I don't know, foreshadowing? Is she gonna start dual wielding wands? Yeah, a talking bird showed up and he said it's time for college. Two birds came by after he's not lying. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, Silky! This is our dinner for today. <laughs> oh, Mr. Churchman. Are you dying? Did he always take medicine from us? Does he have some kind of illness? <coughs> That's not good. What are these coughs? 
trying to sneak in. I mean, Who's if you're coughing that much, you can't really be sneaky. Shut up. Take this tea. He just showed up for the medicine and left. That's it? I didn't... Maybe I forgot the attention to detail in the previous episodes when he was first uh, introduced. Didn't know he had a sickness that he came here for. At night time. Hmm. Hi. Careful, careful. Who's there? Who is it? I can't see their face. This is the first guy that narr the narrator in the intro scene that was talking about slave beggies. For a millennia. Probably super important character. Let's see that face. What does that face look like? Can't really see his face. It's all covered. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just met you. Let me just, just grab your face. <laughs> Yeah, Asian people don't have red hair. That island nation. Well, the mom, right? The dad had black hair, but the mom had red hair. This might be really important, her family lineage. What is her true nature? Uh... Uh, he's not doing anything. Oh, we're gonna see him through that ring again. Who captured and bind my people? Wait, this sounds kind of hostile. I guess he's a grudge against Slay Beg. Is, is she gone? Hello? Holy shit. That was actually so. F Where did she go? She got turned into a. Box? It's pretty cute, but... Huh? She sees a fox now. I thought he was... He wouldn't harm you. He didn't really harm her. Yeah, what's going on? At, that, at the end there, Ash and I said a gift for the youngest born of those who capture and bind my people. Does he have a grudge against slave beggies in specific? He seems to know a lot about the past. He's lived for millennia. Things are getting pretty interesting. I, she didn't really, he didn't really harm us. He put like a fox pelt around. She said that she's like a fox. I don't think this is, we're probably getting baited. This is probably a situation like, you remember when Lindell kidnaps she's and now he's like her grandpa. I, I bet Ash and I is going to be okay. His voice acting. I love that voice acting. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.